Hey guys, I just got a new box from Tactical Distributors. Let's see what's inside. These are the new Tactical Distributors and Q Collaborative Pants. They're called the Cordell. And uh, we're gonna check them out. These just dropped. All right, so I ordered two sizes. I got 32 by 30 length and 34 by 30 length. And I thought I would compare. In my experience with tactical distributors, uh, sometimes the 32s and 34s are like really interchangeable. Sometimes they fit like uh, each other and vice versa. Um, I've already pre-tried these on. 32s were way too snug. I've got other 32s from Tactical Distributors that fit like the 34s do of these. So I would say that these in the waist run small. I'd say if you're on the edge of a size, go with one size up, at least for the waist size. All right, so I've found that the 34 waist by 30 length is my ideal size. Let's check these out. Wow. So initially, the branding and the labeling is really cool. You've got this reflective copper with the uh, matching copper color fabric. Oh, that's super cool, even in here. And then uh, this has that same foil copper printing. Very, very cool. Fabric feels interesting. It's, it's like a really soft kind of squishy fabric. Not super lightweight, but not heavy either. Wow, the colors, awesome. Very, very cool. Check that out. Really cool. Here's another little logo I'm seeing. That's like silk screened on there. Very cool. So you've got the pocket cuts, some Velcro in there, little pockets here. Cool zippers. I love how the zippers have uh, these little these little pockets that they tuck into, hide in there. That's nifty. I'm seeing a knife uh, guard here, like a knife clip. And then same thing over here. Looks like maybe this piece of fabric was cut from just like a single color. That's kind of cool. Um, so symmetrical on both sides with the pockets. These are totally symmetrical. Everything's symmetrical all the way down. Looks like, let's look at the back. So symmetrical on the back also. I'll show you what these vent uh, zips do once I get them on. The rear pockets have no way to access without unzipping them. And then you've got your Velcro um, tie down points. I like that these are bungee. It's just like a really cool extra little detail, both behind the knee and down on the, uh, the leg opening. Cool. And then I know they advertised it has like a gusseted crotch. So there's that detail. Extra little fabric in there. Cool. Oh, another silkscreen logo back here in the center. That's awesome. I love that these have two belt loops in the rear in the middle. I can't stand it when pants just have a single belt loop and then, you know, other ones far out on your sides. I, I like having one on the sides and then two across the back. I think that's much better. And then um, final detail here is the button. It's got TV apparel branding. I think it's plastic, really cool though. And get your zipper with your rubberized little YYK tab. And then the interior, that looks kind of cheap to me, just having that bright white, but I guess that's just the back of that material. What can you do about that? Cool logo there in the uh, Tactical Distributors and Q collab. Really cool. 
All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna throw them on real quick and uh, just show you guys some of the fitment and then we're gonna throw some knee pad inserts in the knee pockets and check that out also. All right guys, so here are the TD and Q collaboration Cordell combat pants on. These are once again 34 waist by 30 length. I am five foot 10, about 190 pounds. I'm wearing these right now with low top, Altama Maritimes. So the color's cool, really flexible. You can hear some Velcro sounds when you get down with them. But 30 length is usually good for me, especially with a boot. So that they have just enough stretch, feel good stretch wise. Yep, and then come on in here and I'll show you some of the details. All right, so the front pockets are symmetrical on both sides. These pockets are slightly billowed, so you could really fill those in. Got a lot of room in there. Um, very easily fit a wallet or some stuff in there. Definitely not deep enough for a magazine though. That's kind of interesting, some of that backing material coming out. Gotta cut some of that out. Yeah, take a look at that. This goes almost as deep as the outer pocket. That's where it stops right there with the outer pocket being here. Same exact thing on this side. With this little guy here, I love the detail on the entrance of that pocket, really cool. The, uh, the knee pad pockets don't feel clunky. It doesn't really feel like there's a ton of extra fabric there. Um, this is where you insert the knee pad. There's some more of that rear material poking out there. It's gonna take a lot of cleanup with some shears. There's that. And then the top pockets here, these go down to here. So not crazy deep, but you could definitely fit any size iPhone in there. Goes to right about there, no problem. Got your little coin pocket here, goes to about there. And then you've got this extra gusset in here for a knife clip or a flashlight clip, pretty cool. Got this cool little detail here. Same thing on this side. And then your rear pockets with the zippers. Pretty cool, it's like nice and tight. And I feel like these pants, like the crotch is a good height. They're not really baggy. A lot of combat pants have such low inseam. Um, these feel really cool, they fit pretty nice. Um, this is a cool feature that I feel like I did not see on the advertisement for these. It's a big mesh vent pocket um, and you can see through this mesh and both sides have that. So that would really like vent. I can already feel like some air coming in there on my legs. I can see that being pretty cool. And then they're really easy to deploy if you were out in the field. Let me get them back up. And then I'm gonna cinch these a little bit snugger. This is how I'd probably actually wear them on top of a boot or something that would fill that out a little bit better. But yeah, the 34 waist. Um, the legs aren't ridiculously big. A lot of times with combat pants, pants I found that the leg diameter is just huge um, with like a 34 waist. So I think they're pretty cool, guys. Guys, I wanted to try some knee pad inserts for these. I found these at my local 511 store. They're called the Adapt Internal Knee Pads. They're kind of pre-molded and radius to your knee, and it's a really durable, rubberized, kind of foamy material. I just thought they'd fit the pockets pretty well. Um, they're supposed to be universal. So let's see how they fit in here. I'm looking at the sizing, eh, I don't know. It's gonna be snug as a bug, but let's give it a try here. All right, so seat it in the bottom, Velcro on the top, and uh, the wings are kind of folded over inside, 
On the inside, they're kind of like this, like rolled over on the back. It doesn't quite fit. I'm gonna have to trim these if I really wanna use these. All right, so quick recap of these pants. Um, I think they're pretty cool, guys. Uh, I paid $149 for them plus shipping. I did order two sizes to try them out. I'm gonna return the other size. Um, I would say order favor large sizing. I usually wear like a 32 to a 34, and the 32s didn't even remotely fit around my waist. The 34s are snug, they barely fit. Um, length is spot on. I'm usually a 30, these, these look good length. I like the material, they're super cool. I mean, this, this camo pattern is freaking awesome. Um, my planned use for these is Airsoft CQB. I don't think I'm gonna wear these as a leisure pant per se, that'd be pretty dorky. Um, but probably some CQB stuff, maybe some range days. I might wear them out a little bit, I'm not sure. Um, but I would say uh, pick some up. I don't know how limited these are gonna be um, and how long they'll have availability. This is the first clothing collaboration that I know of that Q has done. And I'm a pretty big Tactical Distributors fan, so I think it's really cool that the two of them teamed up. So let me know what you guys think of these pants. Uh, did any of you guys buy a pair as well? I bought them like five minutes after they launched because I thought they'd sell out real quick. As far as I can tell, they're still available, so maybe they weren't as limited as I thought they would be. Um, if you guys like quick review videos like this, not a crazy amount of production on them, just getting you uh, relevant, quick, uh, recent release stuff out there on YouTube with detail shots. Let me know if you like this sort of content. Um, I'll keep making videos like this. I'm always researching and finding cool new stuff. And uh, if I can help you guys make a more educated decision on your purchases, I'm happy to do so. Thanks for watching and please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks.